Howdy, Moz fans, and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. This week, minimum viable SEO. So if you only have a few minutes in a month, in a week, to do some SEO, and I know many of you uh, are professional SEOs, but you work with lots of folks, like content creators, clients, web developers, who have very, very limited time, what I want to try and do is provide a path for you of do this if you have no other time in the week to do your SEO. So let's say, here's my calendar, it's February, so 28 days. Uh, start of the month, you have an hour to give me. So, sometime in the first, you know, first week of the month, it doesn't have to be, but th that's a great way to go. And at the start of each week, I'm gonna ask for 10 minutes, right? Just to do a little bit of planning. And then each time you publish content, a very, very small amount of time, just three minutes. And I know it sounds hard to believe, but you can get a fair amount of solid SEO work, especially if you're in an industry that is not hyper competitive, or if you're going after right kinds of keywords that aren't super competitive, you can really make a difference. If you're building up a lot of content over months and years, just following this you know, simple protocol can really take your SEO to the next level. So, all right, let's say we're at the start of our month, we have our hour, I want you to do one of two things, and this is gonna be based on if your technical SEO, meaning if your website is uh, you know, using WordPress and uh, it's, it's pretty much nicely crawlable, maybe you've signed up for Google Search Console, you don't see a lot of errors, there's not a lot of issues, uh, you haven't created a bunch of technical debt on your website in the past, Great, fine. Then you're gonna be focused on keyword and keywords and content. And a keyword content map, which is something we've discussed here on Whiteboard Friday, I'd, I'd urge you to check that video out if you haven't yet. Uh, but I, I'm gonna make an MVP version, right? A very, very small version that can help a little bit. That spreadsheet, I just want a spreadsheet with uh, a few things in it, three things really. Uh, the most valuable keywords. So just the most valuable keywords that you know you're targeting or that you care about uh, right now for your business. You think that people are searching for these keywords, uh, maybe you've done a little bit of keyword research, it could be for free through Google's AdWords tool, or you could pay for something like Keyword Explorer uh, from Moz, but really just 50 to 100 keywords in there. I want the current rank and whatever SERP features appear. Uh, you could even trim this down to just your current ranking and the top search SERP feature. So if it has a featured snippet, or if it has videos, or if it shows maps, or news, whatever that is, tweets. Uh, and then I want the URL that's targeting it, or if you have no URL targeting it yet, you haven't yet created a piece of content that targets this keyword, put a little, okay, that's a needs to be created, right? I need this uh, before I can start targeting this keyword and trying to rank for it. And you're gonna update this weekly. You can do that totally manually. You know, 50 keywords, you can look them up in an hour. Uh, you can check the rankings, you can see where you're going. That's fine, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it can totally be done. Or you could use a tool, uh, Moz Pro, Ahrefs, uh, SEMrush, Search Metrics. There's all sorts of tools out there uh, that'll track rankings and, and show you which features appear and whether your URLs are in there or not. Okay, uh, this is our keyword to content map. If you have that hour, but you know you have technical issues on the site, I'm gonna urge you before you focus on keywords and content to make sure your technical SEO, your crawl is set. And that means, step one, just a basic, simple crawl analysis. So for free, you can use Google Search Console. It will show you most of the time with relative accuracy, uh, big important errors like 404s and 500s and things that Google thought were duplicate content, that kind of stuff. If you wanna pay, you can get a little bit more advanced features and some better you know, filters and sorting and uh, more frequency and those kinds of things. Uh, Moz Pro is fine for that. Screaming Frog's good, onpage.org. All of these are popular in the SEO field. Step two, you don't need to worry about every single crawl issue. I just want you to worry about the most severe, most important ones with your one hour. And those are things like 404s and 500s, which can really cause a lot of problems. Duplicate content where you potentially need to use a rel canonical or 301 redirect. Broken links, where you just go in and fix the broken link to something that's not broken. Missing or bad titles, uh, title elements that are particularly long or include misspellings or that just don't exist. Bad, very bad to have a page on the web with no title. Uh, and thin content or no crawlable content. Those are 
really the worst of the bunch. Uh, there's, a bu there's a number more that you could take care of, but if you only have that limited time, take care of this. If you've already done this, then we can move on here. Uh, finally, last thing but not least, every time you publish a piece of content, I'm going to ask for just three minutes of your time. Uh, and that is going to be around this minimum viable pre-publish checklist. So does the content have a keyword target? Yes, no, maybe. If it doesn't, uh, you're going to need to go and refer over to your keyword content list and make sure that it does, right? So you're publishing something. I'm assuming you're not publishing a tremendous amount of content, but a little bit. Make sure everyone has a keyword target. Make sure, if you can, that it's targeting two to three additional keywords, right? Related keywords. So uh, let's say I'm going after something like Fabergé eggs. I probably also want to target uh, Carl Fabergé, or I want to target uh, Fabergé eggs museums, or I want to target Fabergé eggs replicas, right? So these, these other terms and phrases that people are likely searching for that could have the same or similar keyword intent, that could live on the same page, that kind of thing. Is that keyword in the title, the main one you're targeting? Do you have a compelling meta description? Uh, are you doing, is your content doing a good job of truly answering the searcher's query? So if they've searched for this thing, are you serving up the content they need? And then have you used related topics? You can get those from uh, places like the MozBar or MarketMuse or SEO Zone or, or MozPro. Uh, related topics are essentially the words and phrases that you should also be using in addition to your keyword to indicate to the search engines, hey, this is really about this topic. We've seen some, some nice bumps from that. You're doing this every time you publish content. It only takes three minutes. And the last thing, uh, at the start of the week, I'm also asking you for these 10 minutes to do one or two actions. I just want you to plan one or two actions at the start of the week to bump your SEO. It, it could include some publication stuff, but let's assume you're just doing these three minutes every time you do that. At the start of the week, you're the last thing you're doing is just uh, choosing one of these, maybe two. You, I, I don't need more. I want you to do something like uh, link outreach. Reach out to a couple high potential targets. Maybe you use uh, like a link intersect tool to figure out people who are linking to two of your competitors. Or reach out to partners, to friends, uh, some, do some content contributions. Just a little thing to get one or two links. Or maybe you create some content right, that's targeting a missed keyword. And when you do that, of course, you go through your pre-published checklist. Uh, maybe you are upgrading some content that's already ranking like, uh, like number five through 20. That's, that's where there's a lot of opportunity uh, for a high value keyword to get bumped up. And you, you could just do little things like, um, you know, make sure that it's serving all of these items, uh, try and get it a featured snippet, uh, try and uh, identify content that might be old, that needs a refresh, that's not serving the searcher intent as well because the information in there is old. Or, uh, you could try contributing some off-site content. That could be to places like um, uh, YouTube. Maybe you've seen videos show up for something, uh, guest posts, a forum where you contribute, answer some questions on Quora, contribute something to LinkedIn or Medium, just something to get your brand, your content, and hopefully a link uh, out there to a different audience than what's already coming to your site. You do these things, right? You start the month with an hour. Every time you publish content, you put in three minutes, and at the start of the week, you put in 10 minutes to do a couple pieces of planning. This will take you a long way. Look, SEO professionals are going to do a lot more than this, for sure. But this can be a great start, great way to get that SEO kicked off, to have a minimum viable SEO plan. Look forward to your thoughts, and we'll see you again next week for another edition of Whiteboard Friday. Take care.